So here, what will you do? When you're using, so you have to use the change of base here. So we start with the left hand side. It lock to the base nine. Now you want lock to the base three. So what will you do? Log cos two x plus two upon log nine. Correct? Upon log nine. And I'm choosing the base for each of them as three. Correct? So that's your change of base theorem. Now what you do is log three cos two x plus two. Now what is log nine to the base three? Two. Two, you know that because this is three square. Three and this two will come in front. Correct? And log log three to the base three is one. Log three to the base three is one. Correct, so you'll be left with half, that half goes on top. Cos 2x plus 2 raised to half, correct? And half means square root, you know that? So why are the half and the bottom going to the top? How do you take n log m is equal to log m raised to n? Ha, yeah. That's so what I did. This power rule, yeah. The power rule, no? the power which is there goes on top. And here if I you want to write down the change of base theorem, log a to the base b is log a upon log b the same base c. Right. Whenever, whenever they give you part 1, you have to use it in part 2. Oh, okay. Now log cos 2x plus 2 to the base 9 is equal to cos... So of... see, here you can see that this part, we have already proved this part is equal to this. Yeah. So what I do is I'll replace this by this. Yeah, huh? So therefore they ask you that part. That's a hint basically. Because you have to get the same base, no? Mm -hmm. So now this we proved this log log 9 to this is log to the base 3 root cos 2x plus 2. Now you drop logs on both the sides. So 2 sin x is equal to what? Root of cos root of 2x plus 2. Root of cos 2x plus 2. Now, what do you do? Square uh, both the sides. Yeah. You square both the sides because there's a square root. Huh? So, so better you square both x. So if you square both the sides, so 4 sine square x. Cos 2x plus 2. Is equal to cos 2x plus 2. Sine square x. Now 4 sine square x. Now what is the formula of cos 2x? Use the double angle formula. Yeah. That is uh, 1 minus sine square x. 1 minus 2 sine square x because yeah. there is already a sine square x. So I will use that variant. See there are three variants. Yes sir. You see which one to use which is relevant. So in this case you already have a sine square x. So that variant, that variant would be relevant. Yeah. Now get all terms, sine square terms on one side. So 6 sine square x is equal to 3. three. Sine square x. Sine square x. Is equal to half. Is equal to half. So sine x. Is equal to plus or minus 1 over root 2. Yeah. You take the square on the other side as square root. Now since x is in the first quadrant. Yeah, because so pi to pi by 2. That means x so is the first quadrant. Will be so first quadrant positive. So pi by 4. Correct. So x is equal to pi by 4. Since it's in the first quadrant, it's only pi by 4. 